Hey, this is Joe. Uh, I got another one here. This, uh, this question is, Joe, I've closed 16 deals over the past six months. I've worked about 10 hours a week and made a little over $60,000. That's very exciting since it usually took me an entire year to make that much money. Uh, very nice. Uh, working 40 hours a week. Uh, one of the things that happens over and over again is that my sellers and buyers are very happy with me when they close. I get hugs and thank yous and sometimes they even cry. Uh, I never had a business where that happened before. My question is, how can I use those happy people to increase my business? Can I get them to give me more referrals? Um, yes, uh, referrals can be good. Uh, you can get both buyers and sellers when you do referrals. If, they, if you do something well for somebody, it's very likely that if they've got somebody else who's in that situation that they'll give you somebody. But the percentage of deals that you're going to get on referrals is fairly low. You know, if you have a good marketing uh, process, then most of your leads are going to come in through your marketing. Um, but testimonials can help you get lease option memos signed. They can get you uh, su subject to deals signed. You, they, can get you, they can get you more buyers. They can, they can help you with other things if you can get their testimonial. So what I suggest is that every time you have a buyer that closes the deal, if you're in the city with them, or if you've got boots on the ground who are in the city with them, uh, see if you can do a, one of several things. You can either pull out your, your camera and do a little video and say, would you mind telling people what you thought of this process and and, and how it worked, and ask them a few questions about what they did. You know, what did you, you know? Were you able to go out and get a? a you know, did you work with a realtor? No. Did you uh, have good credit to be able to buy this property? No. Did you have to put much money down? No. Uh, you know, were you able to buy a property from anybody else? You know, did you get the property that you wanted? You know, when you're talking to a buyer, and you get them to answer questions that are fairly open-ended, and they'll tell you what they think. And was it a good experience working with my company? And and they'll usually say yes, it is. And you can use those videos on your website next to your listings showing, hey, this is what Sam and Lisa said about you know, working with me and buying a property through me. You can do the same thing with sellers. Say, you know, you've got a seller here. Did we make you more money? You know, was there a better option for you to do it another way? Did the experience working with us work out well? You know, and you get them to tell them, you tell people how, what it was like to work with you. Uh, if you look at my uh, uh, case studies, uh, and I call them case studies rather than testimonials on my site, because what I do when I talk to other investors that I teach is I ask them uh, about uh, their experience uh, putting together deals, learning how to put together deals, how much money they made, how long it took them to do it, you know, what process they had to go through, why they decided to do it, you know, why they decided to do it with me. And that also serves as a testimonial, giving me credibility, uh, showing that, hey, there's somebody here that, that, that worked out. When you look at, oh, he's got 50, 60, 70 of these, peop these uh, videos on his, on his page, he probably is fairly credible. I mean, these seem fairly likely that these people are real and they're not some actors that, uh, that he went and hired. Uh, so you can do the same thing. And it doesn't have to be perfect production values. Just get your, your camera, your cell phone out, take, take the pictures. You can also do this um, by having, you know, say, would you do a little call with me and allow me to record it? So you could do it on audio if you can't get it on video. So uh, go to freeconferencecalling.com and they have conference calls that you can set up and it's free and it's uh, you can record it and you can download the recording and then you can give that recording to an IT guy and he can put it on your website for you and you can put a little blurb in there about who it is and maybe a, have people send you a picture of themselves and put it next to them and here's what Sam and Mary said about you know working with our company and uh, let them listen to that, you know, whether it's specifically marketed towards buyers or sellers. So that uh, can make a, uh, a, a big deal of difference. Now, if you can't get audio, then just get it in text. See if you can get them to write an email and talk about their experience and do it that way. And I suppose you could even have somebody read their email on an audio, but I think it's, you know, I think the text is good. I think that their voice on an audio rings a lot truer and their face on a video rings even truer than that. And so that's how I would do it. And our clone sites are set up in the auto marketer so that you can put videos up, you can put all that stuff up. Uh, and if you don't know how to do it, you can pay somebody a fairly low amount of money uh, to do that for you. All right, hope that helps. Good luck.